Hey friends, today's video is going to be packed full of cleaning. I have a list of things that I want to do today. I have a mountain of laundry that I need to put away. I want to clean the bathrooms, um, go through clothes, go through the storage side of our basement. Um, got to clean up the kitchen. We just have stuff everywhere. Got to empty the dishwasher. Um, just put things away, really. Um, we just left for the weekend for Labor Day weekend. So I kind of cleaned before we left, but I just came home yesterday and things just kind of exploded. So want to clean everything up. I'm going to start with making the bed and um, we'll get going on our list. So if you need some cleaning motivation, let's clean along together. Hello and welcome back everyone to another video. If you are new here, I am so glad you found my channel. My name is Meredith and I create cleaning and lifestyle videos. And right now we are just starting by making the bed, getting that all made so that we can get started on our to-do list. If you are new here, my name is Meredith and I am a wife and a mother. I have been married to my husband for eight and a half years and we have two children. Quinn is five and Wade is three and um, we live in Michigan and this summer is slowly coming to an end. I am definitely a summer girl, but I do love that in Michigan you get a full four different seasons. So I'm looking forward to, for a little cooler weather with the fall and all the holidays that come with that. Um, so today's video, like I said, jam packed full of just getting my to-do list done and doing some extreme cleaning and just getting our house back in order. So I hope you have your to-do list ready and we can clean together. So I don't normally let laundry pile up this much. It was just, I did the laundry and then we were away for Labor Day weekend and didn't put that laundry away. So then I got back home and did like three loads of laundry after we got back. So it was a lot of laundry. As you can see, I when I have this much laundry, I just sort it out by person and then get to putting everything away by room. So that is what I'm doing, just getting everybody's stuff sorted out. And you guys, the piles of clothes was just unreal, but I it felt so good to have this checked off my list. To say bye, baby. Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So oh, baby bye It's for the best All right, a million years later and the laundry is all sorted out Now I am just taking the kids clothes and bringing that to their rooms and getting that all put away and just getting going on this laundry that was taking me forever it, it probably took me 45 minutes to an hour to just get everything done um you will see i got a little distracted in quinn's room and that's okay but getting the laundry put away is always satisfying because it's just a task that nobody really loves to do We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna We wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun, the trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives The night is here So 
So when I came in here to put Quinn's clothes away, I just, it like hit me that her room was just a complete disaster. She must have sat on her bed with some shoes on because there was just grass everywhere. And so I was like, all right, I really got to just clean her room up, get all the stuff off the floors, put her clothes away. And it ended up turning into me rearranging her room and she loves it. She doesn't always... Um, like the change, but she loved how I moved everything. So I'm glad it worked out, but um, just started with putting, sorting through the laundry and putting some stuff away. And then I'm going to be cleaning off her bed and the floor and we'll get to moving her bed around. Sometimes it's nice to just, I'm the, definitely the type of person who likes a change in scenery. So just moving furniture around instead of doing big changes is a nice for me it changes things up but not like an extreme like painting the walls or anything um so that is what i'm going to be doing so putting the clothes away now and then we'll be moving the bedroom around Quinn is definitely my little collector. She likes to just keep the tiniest little toys that have no use to them or finds rocks and puts them in a certain spot in her room and just like random toys. So she definitely is the person who just likes to hoard some things in her room. Definitely truly needs to be cleaned out like majorly, um, but this was not the time to do that. I had a big list of things I wanted to get done. So. Um, definitely we'll have to do that sometime maybe when she's not around because I feel like she'll definitely want to keep stuff that has no sense in being kept in her room. So um, like that basket on her little cubby, there's just literally a bunch of random stuff in there that has no purpose. So I am just picking up the rest of the floor, getting all the bags back in her closet and then going to hang up these clothes. You'll have to let me know if your one of your kids is like that if they are a hoarder or if they just throw everything away. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good but we keep lighting fires so we don't have a super large washing machine so it is hard to wash like our big comforters like this so it was just, I knew I was going to vacuum in here. So I just shook it out really well, get all of the crumbs and grass that she had, whatever on there and shook it all on the floor so that I could just vacuum it all up and just figured that would be a lot easier. And then, um, I wash the kids' beddings every couple weeks because they're little and they don't move around a lot. Um, I do wash their pillow sheets every week just cause their face is on it all the time. And you know, um, but they're, unless they have an accident or something in their sheets, I only wash those every couple weeks. Um, you'll have to let me know if that's, if you have a schedule with bedding, how often you wash it and 
you could see here, this was when I realized, hey, I'm just going to move her stuff around <laughs> to make it a little, uh, a little different in here. Um, but I do love how it turned out. Um, she, we keep like the most girliest toys that we have in here, like her dollhouse. Um, she's got, um, she was really into spirit show. So she has a little barn and horses. Um, she loves horses. So, um, just all the stuffed animals, that kind of stuff just stays in here. So her room definitely is full of stuff, but it seems a little more organized now and she can play around. Now that everything is kind of where I wanted it to go, I just was doing a quick vacuum of the carpet and it was going to be all done. I did actually end up moving it around again after this the next day and just thought it fit a little bit better. I put the chair in the corner and um, moved some stuff, more stuff around, but it ended up looking great. And now she absolutely loves it and it works really well for her. We are downstairs in Wade's room now, putting away all of his laundry, and you can clearly tell. Um, I don't know if it's a boy versus girl thing, but his room is very minimal. He has a bed, dresser, and a closet with some tractors in it, and that is about it. So he does not have a lot in here, but we do have the playroom right outside his door. So, I mean, there's no sense in having extra toys in his room when um, that room is right there. But I was just kind of going through some of his clothes, Sorry, you can probably hear the kids playing outside. Um, going through some of his clothes and getting rid of shirts or sweatshirts that I knew were too small for him. He's definitely, they're almost honestly in the same size clothes. Quinn is just very tall and petite and Wade is just like a regular boy size. He's in like 3T, 4T and he's three and um, Quinn is like in the five and um size extra small but like her pants are really hard for us to buy so just um kind of going through some clothes and getting all of that put away so i have finally put away all the laundry and then quinn's room kind of turned into put away the laundry and then rearrange <laughs> so that took a lot longer than i thought it would but now i'm going to go through some of my clothes um, kind of switch things out now that it's Labor Day um, weekend. Uh, it's definitely going to start getting cooler here in Michigan. Um, we'll definitely have our random um, warm days, but no need to keep all of the shorts out. Probably if it is that hot, I'd end up wearing um, a dress or comfy shorts anyways. So I'm going to put away all of that stuff. And then um, my sister's having a garage sale this weekend, so I'm just going to go through clothes I'm horrible at getting rid of clothes because I just feel like, oh, I might want to wear that next year, even though I didn't wear it at all this summer. I just have a weird, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to do that go through some clothes, hang up some other clothes, and then, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'll try to get Derek to go through his clothes too because, honestly, he wears like the same like 10 shirts and I, I get he wants variety. I'm totally okay with that. I'm not I'm not one to speak because I clearly have clothes that I don't wear and I keep them. So <laughs> if he wants to go through his clothes and, or pants and get rid of stuff that he doesn't wear anymore or doesn't think he would wear again, um, get rid of those and then I can bring that all to my sisters. And then I'm hoping to go through our storage side of our basement 
because there's just like random stuff like we have an old office chair down there some old pillows that we never used um what else i don't know just stuff that needs to be gone through and it's like a bomb went off in there so it definitely needs to be cleaned up as well so i'm gonna try to do that and then I really need to clean the bathrooms. Like the kitchen can be picked up whenever, but the bathrooms really need to be cleaned. Um, I didn't do that at all last week, so <laughs> it needs to happen today. Um, but yeah, first I'm gonna do the closets and then I'll probably do the bathrooms and then work my way downstairs. So let's get to getting through these clothes. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have are starting to get that into a new season where you live. Um, now that school started and beginning of fall is coming, we're all going to need to go through our clothes. So let's clean out our closets together. I'm sure there are a few things that we can all get rid of because yeah, I'm just like a hoarder with clothes. I don't know why, because I think like two years from now, I want that shirt that I never wore. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be good about getting rid of stuff. So here we go. All right, so I got rid of some of my shorts already that I'm not gonna for sure wear. I kept two up here. It's like, am I really gonna wear these right now? Probably not. Probably not gonna wear these anymore. I'm gonna put them away. I do have two pairs of like jean overalls, shorts, short alls. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep those up here though because I might wear those. Um, also I saw this hack from somebody, I don't remember who it was, using like shower curtain hooks for hanging your pants, um, or shorts on your hooks and you don't have to fold it all. So smart. You just loop it around the um, belt loops and it works perfect. Okay, so I started out by just going through the clothes and deciding what I didn't wear for the summer and I was gonna get rid of that and bring it to my sisters for the garage sale. And then I was going through stuff as well as um, just stuff that I wasn't gonna wear anymore this summer um, and just to put that in our um, seasonal clothes bin that we just keep downstairs just so we can rotate some stuff out and have more hangers. Um, but I'm definitely, like I said, the person who likes to just keep shirts if it has like a sentimental meaning or I'm just like, oh, I might wear that. It's really hard for me to get rid of clothes. So um, just going through stuff and picking things out that I know I won't be wearing this um, summer, the rest of the summer and the fall and um, just cleaning it out so I can have some room to hang up our fall and winter clothes. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Now, let me know what you do. If you um, have very distinct different seasons where you live, do you um, switch out your clothes or do you have multiple closets or do you just have less clothes that you can wear um, throughout each season? Uh, let me know. This We've always done this since we've been married. We have just um, gone through um, our clothes and kind of just switch things out per season like sweaters and flannels we definitely won't be wouldn't be wearing in the summer so we put that in a bin and like christmas pajamas that kind of stuff the kids stuff i don't really do that too they just they have plenty of room for that stuff but for myself and derek we definitely do that so we have um some room You're the only reason, yes, you're the only 
All right, now that all the clothes are gone through and things are put away, Quinn and I kind of decided we wanted to switch out some decor to some fall stuff. I used to be super into decorating, like would change everything out dramatically and super early and now um, definitely not like that. I just have staple things that I keep up all year round. Christmas, I definitely love Christmas, so we do extra stuff for that. But um, for spring, summer, and fall, it's definitely very minimal. And I just like to keep things simple. So that is what Quinn and I were doing, just setting some up, some fall stuff up. Um, just a few pumpkins and fall colored picks and just switching things out for that season now that it's after Labor Day. Um, let me know when you guys decorate for the fall and what is your favorite thing that you love um, about your decorations for that season. Also, if you decorate for Halloween or do you do more fall, like Thanksgiving kind of decorations, let me know. We are definitely not a huge Halloween family. Um, the kids love the dressing up part, but we don't really get into it that much. But let me know what you guys do. And this is just the few things that we ended up putting out. Um, I did <laughs> add stuff and move some stuff around. I put this big pumpkin on top of the fridge and kind of, um, I like to keep my Bible and notepad over there just for easy access, um, but just moved a little things around, but I do love how it turned out. It just makes it feel a little cozier and love all the little touches of fall. Now I just need to bring out the fall essential oils and find maybe a couple healthy good non-toxic candles to get also the next day after this we went to the grocery store and got some of the mrs meyers um, hand soap so we did switch those out too to the fall scents quinn picked out one for their bathroom and then i think it was the apple cider is what it was and then we have fall leaves in our master bath so that also helps just bring in a little extra fall scent in there. Um, but I forgot I had these pillows and I absolutely love these. I got them from Costco last year and they seriously are my favorite. They're so soft and super cushy, but not like deflate super easily. So definitely check out Costco or Sam's Club for some pillows. Now we are just moving on to quick cleaning up the counters in the kitchen and on the dining room table, just throwing stuff away that need to be put away and putting homeschool stuff away and just really getting things picked up. I feel like every once in a while after a few days, our house will look like this and it's just like so much stuff on the counters and it just makes the house feel more cluttered that way. So that is what I'm doing, just picking everything up and cleaning the counter so that the house just feels and looks cleaner.
Here I am just using the wellness boxes. Um, I have the vanilla scent um, of the multi-service cleaner and I absolutely love the smell. Um, I definitely wanna look into getting a false scented one or even just using the Thieves um, Young Living Cleaner or yes, that's what it is. And then adding essential oils. I have one of those bottles in our basement that I use down there um, when I clean the tables off or whatever. Um, but let me know what is your favorite fall scented cleaner that you use and what brand Now that the dishes are all cleaned out of the dishwasher, I am just cleaning the few that don't really fit in there and putting those back where they need to go. Um, I don't know what it is with our dishwasher. There's gotta be some way for me to clean that out or I'm just not using a great dishwasher detergent, but let me know what your favorites are that actually clean your dishes really good. I feel like sometimes it does an amazing job and then other times I take out maybe a third of the dishes are just still dirty and I, I don't understand why. I don't know if it's the cleaner or if I need to clean something out in my dishwasher, but I definitely need to look into that because it's a pain in the butt to run that and then have to wash your dishes afterwards. And last thing I wanted to do was make sure these bathrooms got a good cleaning because it was desperate need of. Um, and as I was cleaning our master bathroom, I realized I didn't hit the record button. So you will just see me clean our guest bath, the kids bathroom, and get that all nice and clean. It's so nice to have a clean bathroom. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching today's video. I hope it gave you some motivation to get your to-do list done and some fall cleaning done and we could clean along together. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and weekend, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.